I just gained access to Google VEO 3.1 on Higgs Field, and the results are absolutely insane. This version takes AI video generation to a whole new level. The realism, the motion, the sound, it's all next level. With VEO 3.1, you can create hyper-realistic talking videos, generate long cinematic scenes, and get studio quality audio straight out of the render. Let's look at some samples I created. When the spotlights fade, we'll still have pizza. We'll find a way to make it through the taxes. <laughs> One sip and you'll finally call customer support without rehearsing for an hour. <laughs> Now, this new VEO update also gives you better prompt control, making it easier to bring complex ideas to life. You can even turn images into realistic, character-driven motion with people or animals that move naturally. And if you're into short-form content, this update supports up to two smooth scene cuts in eight seconds, perfect for reels, shorts, or teasers. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to access and use VEO 3.1 and other top-tier AI models directly on Higgs Field, as long as you sign up using the link in my description. By the end, you'll know how to unlock everything and start creating videos that look straight out of a Hollywood studio. Now, I'm on the Higgs Field AI site. Let's head over to the video section and scroll down to the Model tab. Right there, you'll notice something new, Google VEO 3.1. This upgrade isn't just a small step forward, it's a leap in quality. The results are cleaner, sharper, and far more lifelike than what we had with the earlier Google VEO 3. The audio output has been refined too, giving you studio-level sound, better adherence to prompts, and the ability to generate longer, more consistent videos. At the moment, I'm still on VEO 3, and for this test, I'm going to create something funny, a confused alien trying to figure out how to use a human microwave. It's the perfect little scene to compare the two versions. Once that's done, I'll switch over to 3.1. Interestingly, it costs exactly the same, yet it's said to perform far more efficiently. Both versions currently support around 8 seconds of video, though 3.1 has the potential to stretch up to 30 seconds. You can choose between portrait or landscape orientation, with resolutions reaching a crisp 1080p at no extra cost. For this comparison, I'll render both versions in full HD side by side, using this comical alien kitchen scene as our reference point. Now, keep in mind that Google VO 3.1 is still in its early access phase, available mainly to the first group of users. If you try to enter a text prompt right now, it'll request a start frame, meaning it currently relies on an image to begin generation. Soon, it will support full text to video capabilities. But for now, we'll start by creating the image manually. To do that, I'll use ChatGPT to help me craft the image prompt, then head over to generate the visuals using Higgsfield Nano Banana, an excellent image generation mode. For this demo, I'll go with Nano Banana. It's actually unlimited for users on the Ultimate or Creator plan, so you can produce as many images as you want without burning through credits. Higgsfield also gives you 30 free daily credits if you're on the Ultimate plan, which is great for creating ultra-realistic visuals. Once the image is ready, I'll return to the video section and upload it. Both generations, VO3 and VO3.1, will be rendered at 1080p in a 16x9 aspect ratio for that cinematic, full-screen experience. They take a little while to process, so let's take a look at the results. The first clip comes from VO3, rendered in high-quality 1080p using image-to-video generation. Let's preview it. The overall feel here looks clean, and the lighting holds up beautifully. Now, let's move on to the V3.1 version, also in 1080p, 16x9.
This version immediately feels more refined. The alien's teeth have subtle imperfections, giving him more realism, while the skin texture carries a natural depth. The light reflections in his eyes make the whole shot feel alive. Overall, VO 3.1 feels like a major step up, especially in how it interprets and delivers your prompts with precision and character. Next, I decided to create another scene, this time using an image generated on Higgsfield with Nano Banana. The concept was simple but funny. A model singing gracefully while a colorful parrot perched on her shoulder kept interrupting her performance by shouting random words like pizza and taxes. I rendered the scene using VEO 3.1 at full 1080p resolution to see how well it handled multiple characters and dynamic expressions in one frame. Let's look at the video. When the spotlights fade, we'll still have pizza. We'll find a way to make it through the taxes. As you can see, the outcome was fantastic. The lighting looked balanced, the motion felt smooth, and the parrot's random outbursts added a layer of charm that felt completely organic. You can actually see subtle reactions on the model's face each time the bird squawks, which makes the moment even more believable. The synchronization between audio and animation is tight, and the scene carries that cinematic polish that's becoming a clear trademark of VEO 3.1. To wrap things up, I decided to test VEO 3.1 with a product commercial style workflow. For this, I created a mock advertisement image using SeaDream on Higgsfield. The photo featured a confident looking model holding a bottle with the label Instant Confidence Juice. After downloading that image, I imported it directly into Google VEO 3.1 to see how well it could transform it into a talking video. The result was both impressive and hilarious. Here's the generated clip. <laughs> One sip and you'll finally call customer support without rehearsing for an hour. <laughs> the voice quality stood out immediately. It sounded rich and well-balanced, almost like it had been recorded in a real studio. The teeth rendering, however, still lags slightly behind, just like in the earlier version. But the overall improvement is clear. VEO 3.1 delivers noticeably sharper visuals, smoother facial movement, and far better prompt interpretation. Every motion feels more natural. Every expression more believable. Once the final version rolls out, moments like these won't just be funny. They'll look and sound convincingly real. Click on the download button to download the clips to your device. And that wraps up this tutorial. We've explored how to access Google VEO 3.1 on Higgsfield, tested its new features, and compared it with the older V3 model. From improved realism and sharper visuals to cleaner audio and better prompt control, VEO 3.1 clearly marks a major leap forward in AI video generation. If you want to try it yourself, make sure you've signed up through the link in my description to unlock access to all the top tier models, including VEO3, VEO3.1 Nano Banana, and Sea Dream. I'll be posting more tests and creative workflows soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.